You have to pretend. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. John McGregor from Celebrate 88 and the Foundation Expert at YouTube channel here, reporting from the State Library of Queensland. It's been a while since the 25th anniversary of Expo. It's been a while since our last video as well, but we're here for a very special occasion. Sally Ann Atkinson, the Lord Mayor at time of Expo 88, will be here to officiate the unveiling of this maquette, which has a very special Expo 88 provenance. We're not going to say exactly what the maquette is yet. We'll let Sally Ann Atkinson do the honours and we'll see you soon. I'm Jeanette Wright and I'm the CEO of the State Librarian and I would like to begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land here at the Realm Point and pay respects to the Elders and their ancestors who came here many generations ago as this was a, a regular meeting place. It's historically a significant meeting and gathering and sharing place for Aboriginal people delighted to welcome you here. I also want to acknowledge and welcome Sally Ann Atkinson. More about Expo 88 and John Barlow Hudson's sculptures. I want to introduce former Lord Mayor of Brisbane and Chair of the Museum of Brisbane, Sally Ann Atkinson. But before she does that, I just want to tell you a little bit about her for those of you who don't know. Right? Probably that's not many of you, but she has a wealth of professional and charitable accolades to her name. And most notable and relevant to today's event is her being elected to the Lord Mayoralty in 1985, making her the first female Lord Mayor of Brisbane. Sally Ann served as Lord Mayor through to 1991 and was a key contributor to the success of Expo 88. And as someone who lived on a completely different part of Australia in 1988, I have to say that it made an impact. It put Brisbane on the map. And so it's wonderful to have you here today, Sally Ann, to officially unveil the Paradise Network. Jeanette, thank you. Thank you very much. And to uh, many distinguished guests who have been here this afternoon. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful event this so I'm here really wearing two hats, none of which I actually have on at the moment. Uh, the first, as Jeanette has mentioned, is I was Lord Mayor um, during next a wonderful time for Brisbane, a very exciting time, and it's great that we have here this afternoon many people who are involved in Expo, but particularly Jim um, McCormack and John McGregor, who has carried the torch um, to keep Expo alive and well in, in, in all our hearts. Um, and Brian, of course, from the Brisbane Greeters, who uh, go around the city reminding people just exactly um, what we have. The other, the other hat I wear is as the uh, chairman of the, the inaugural chairman actually, of the Museum of Brisbane and, and here today with Peter Denham, um, who's our director. And I think it's fantastic that these two events, if you like, have actually, or issues or whatever you call them, have actually come, to, come together. Um, because here on this side, we are honouring Expo and reminding um, people about Expo. And of course, this building today, as you know, wasn't actually here. Um, the library was a much smaller place, but it was actually um, there. And to link the, the library and Expo and the Museum of Brisbane together um, was one of the reasons, I think, that we wanted to really make sure that the statue was on, that the sculpture was on public view. Um, and of course, the Museum of Brisbane, as you know, is at the top of City Hall, which has ceilings, and we wouldn't be able to show it um, to the advantage that it is shown here. So it's fantastic that we are able to uh, lend it to you for five years. It's a really nice to us. Perhaps you're going to keep it for longer. <laughs> um, I also wanted to particularly thank Peter Racy, who's turned into a cameraman for this afternoon. But it was uh, thanks to Peter's generosity, his financial support, that we actually got the market um, at all. So, Peter, thank you not only for your financial support, but may I say your driving passion, um, which uh, is something that really needs support to so many, uh, to so many projects in the city. Um, just to say something about John Barlow Hudson, um, he, uh, of course, is an internationally renowned um, sculptor. He began his life work in 1976. He's shown, if that's what you do, I think, the sculptures, um, in 26 countries. So we're very lucky that we have two of his works here um, during Expo. 
they were rather large, or they are rather large, in Southern Marquette. Um, as you will know, is the sort of the smaller um, example um, of that. Um, it was built in 19... That's what you said about this stuff. I keep looking to my, my, my director to see, see if I'm using the right words. Um, in 1988, it was created, I think, somewhere in 1988. This is the first time, or the first place, in which it has been publicly um, shown. Um, I should say that John is very excited about today. Um, he has sent us a message to uh, tell us that he's excited and, and to thank us for, um, for what we're doing. He was here when he handed over his papers um, in uh, last year, some, some time, um, and they're upstairs somewhere in this building. Where are they, Jim? They're in the, the, I'll, the, what I'm going to do is suggest everybody. Oh, right, sorry. Well, I'm going to go up later. Right, right, right. sorry. Yeah, they're, in the, they're in the John Oxley Library. Yeah, so people can, if they want to learn more about the actual details about the about, about him and about the sculpture and, and about Expo 88, because um, as Chet has said, it was an event that defined Brisbane in many ways. It would be sad to think that it was the only event that defined Brisbane, but it was an important part of our growing up, um, and certainly for people who were there, it's had many memories and it gave a lot of people in Brisbane the confidence that previously they had rather lacked when there was that sort of image of Brisbane being the Cinderella State, and all of a sudden, Queensland, all of a sudden, well, we could do this, and we actually did. And I think perhaps, uh, and Jim, I know you'll agree that one of the major contributors to the success of Expo in the public consciousness was the fact that we had all these works of art, many of which are around the city in, in various places. But I'm just delighted that uh, the State Library, because the Library and the Council, when I went into, uh, you know, were together, when I first went into um, the Council in 1979, um, I had two passions, one of which I already, no, three, one, two of which I already had, one was Brisbane, before I went in. Um, the second, though, was libraries, and I was a, the chairman of the big library conference in the, the year um, before that. The other one I discovered was town planning, and uh, that's, that's another story. But the library has contributed so much to the city. Um, I was very pleased recently, Jeanette, that when my 16-year-old grandson told me he comes here every Sunday to study, and I thought, what a good lad. I'm so impressed, but I then discovered that it's the social centre for teenagers in Brisbane. <laughs> so I'm going to pop in one Sunday just to have a look and see uh, who he's talking to. Anyhow, that's enough for me. Um, we're here for the purpose to have a look at this for me to unveil it, and I'm told something extraordinarily magic is going to happen when I give the word, do I tug the cloth? <laughs> right? Thank you so much. Oh, yes. 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 The State Library is honoured to be the new home of the John Barlow Hudson's work. And the Paranoid Marquette will complement John Barlow Hudson's personal papers that are now housed in the John Oxley Library and will serve to as a physical reminder of the legacy of Expo 88 in Queensland, yes. And I'm pointing to Erin, who's waving. And Erin will escort you to our white gloves room where we have some of the maps and plans and um, materials available there. There, because it's a white gloves room, you'll be asked to don a pair of white gloves and you'll be able to look through the collection. Otherwise, feel free to stay with us and, and have a little celebration. Thank you. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, John Burgett here again from Celebrate 88 and the Foundation Expo Radio YouTube channel. We've just been here to see the unveiling of this wonderful maquette, the John Barlow Hudson Paradigm from Expo 88, and we've had many dignitaries here including the former Lord Mayor of Brisbane, Lord, uh, Lord Mayor Sally Ann Atkinson, as well as Chief Protagonist of World Expo 88, here standing on my right hand side, uh, James McCormick, MBE, OAM. Nothing happened, and after six months, the committee was disbanded. And I thought, heck, I'd like to have done something with my section of the river, which is Kangaroo Point, didn't which you? is Kangaroo Point, right? Yeah. And um, and I thought, well, what would what could you put there? And I thought, why in hell, an, an expo? Let's yes, have an expo. Yes, yes. So I drew a series of sketches, 1976.